Hi there, this is Heather. I'm the Midwest Save Our Streams coordinator with the Isaac Walton League of America. And today I'll be demonstrating how to add your Nitrate Watch data to the Clean Water Hub database from a computer. We have another version of this tutorial that uses a smartphone, so feel free to check out that video as well. Uh, your Nitrate Watch kit does include the instructions to use your strips and also report the data on the hub, but I'll just be going into a little bit more detail here. So step one is to pull up your favorite web browser or Google and type in cleanwaterhub.org slash nitrate watch. And when you do that, you'll be taken to a page that looks something like this. Uh, so cleanwaterhub.org slash nitrate watch. Uh, you, if you have an account on the Clean Water Hub, you can just click this button and log in. If you don't have an account on the Hub, you'll need to create one, but it's super simple. You just add your email address here, type in your name, and then create a password, and you're good to go. Make sure the email address is a good, valid email address so that if we need to reach out regarding your data or anything, that we are able to do so. I do have an account, so I'm just going to hit log in, and it remembers me, so we are in. Um, now we're already on a tab that has Nitrate Watch pulled up. And at this point, if you have sites or data already created uh, under Nitrate Watch, you would see it kind of populating here. Um, this uh, account is a blank canvas. I don't have anything. So all I can do is create a new Nitrate Watch reading. So let's click here. On this page, you will see a drop down list of all the sites that you have to choose from that you can add data to. Um, but like I said, I don't have any sites, so let's create a new site. So this is um, just imaginary data. I'll go in and delete it later. Um, but for the purposes of this video, let's pretend I went to the Mississippi River near the Arch because I'm in St. Louis right now. So we will say Mississippi River Arch National Park. It's a national park now. How crazy is that? Um, so the name of the water source here uh, sometimes there's not an obvious choice for this field. Like if you're sampling from tap water, there's not necessarily a water body uh, per se. So this is an optional field. But since this is a river, the name of the water source is Mississippi River. Um, and then from this drop down list, we will choose what type of water body we're sampling. Um, a reminder that with Nitrate Watch, we can sample all these surface water sources like rivers, lakes, and streams, and also tap water from either a private well or a public drinking water system. But of course, the Mississippi is a river. Now on site description, um, we can be as brief or as thorough as we want to be, but we're just describing where we sampled. So in my imagination, we walked down to the riverfront, um, right where the, oops, the arch looks over the river, right there in the middle. Okay. So at this point, you can add a photo um, if you have one on your computer of your site. You would click choose file and then select the, the photo from your folders on your computer and hit upload. It's important to hit upload, otherwise um, it's not going to add it to your site. But when, when everything's done correctly, you'll see the little picture up here here and you'll know that you're good to go. I don't have a photo at the ready, so we're going to skip this for now. You can always go back and add the photo at a later time. So now we're getting to where this location is. So of course the city is St. Louis, the state is Missouri, and um, latitude and longitude, this is super important because it tells you exactly where the sampling occurred. Um, you have some options here. If you have the latitude and longitude ready to go, that you have the numbers written down, um, you can just type those numbers in here and you'll be all set. If you don't have the numbers written down, uh, you can use this map to either search, uh, so find like a nearby landmark and it'll zoom you right in, or you can just zoom in using the buttons or using your computer's control button and your mouse. We're zooming in and this is right, right where I was talking. So once you've got your location and your sites, hit add location mode on, um, you'll see this red border appear and you can just click wherever you collected your data. And if that's not quite right, you can click elsewhere and it will update. And you can see how all of our clicks are making these latitude and longitude numbers appear. So that's perfect. We are good to go. So now our site is created. All we have left to do is to add our data that we collected with our Nitrate Watch kit. So start with the date. Let's say we collected this on August 30th. Um, and then our nitrate concentration Let's say it was two parts per million. 
Um, and then most recent pre precipitation. And in the comments field, you can leave any comment you want to about observations that you made as you were taking your reading or other data you might have. Um, remember the nitrate and uh, nitrate test strips also record nitrite, which we don't record in our data forms. But if you happen to see nitrite levels that are non-zero, you can absolutely record that in the comments section. And that is a valuable way to hang on to that information. So uh, that's all that there is to it. And now the final step is to scroll up and just make sure I filled everything in, make sure everything is correct, accurate. And last but not least, I hit save changes. And that's it. So now my data point is live, it's public. I can see uh, where the site is on this map. And as you continue to add data, this graph will auto-populate, it's color-coded, and it's auto-generated. So it's a really great way to visualize your data. If you scroll down further, you can see all the data points you've added to that site. And this dot is now a part of our uh, Nitrate Watch community map as well. So that's just a little quick breakdown of how to add your data uh, using a computer to the Clean Water Hub. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about this process at all. I'm always happy to help. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and happy monitoring.